we're finally finished with our obligations. And don't get me wrong, I love all the hardware companies, and I especially love all the RGB, but it's time to like go find the weird stuff. Guys, I want to say thanks to Z Workstations for editing all these videos on our dual Xeon rig. Uh, now, the thing about Z Workstations is they use HP Workstations, they customize them, they have way more options than HP, they're easier to configure than just about anybody out there on the planet, and they don't make you jump through a lot of hoops, and plus they are lower cost when compared to the same thing on the HP website. So if you guys need a workstation, check out Z Workstations. Also, thanks to ASRock, be sure to check out our coverage on their AMD and their Intel products. All the links for all this are in the description. We are looking at Team 8 right now, which I was immediately attracted to this because it let me live out one of my lifelong fantasies of being a superhero. So this is a system that's designed for kids, and it's all about creating your own superhero and then having all these cool games and stuff that you can use to play with it. But the heroes need energy, and in order to gain energy, you actually have to go out and do physical activities and kind of things like that. So it's all about getting out there, running around, and then battling out your superheroes and playing all kinds of games with each other. So also this has reminders on it for like when you need to take medication and stuff like that. And it also has a texting system that you can do with your parents and stuff. So you can be like, oh, this is where my kid is currently out superheroing, which is like really a cool. a sneaky way to get them to move around. Yeah. Sneaky fitness watch. But hey, whatever works. Right? Yeah. I, if I could be a superhero, I'd probably be healthier. You see that action right there? Darth Vader is going RGB. This is the R-Pure. It's an anti-pollution mask and it's uh, the most advanced anti-pollution mask out there. Take that action out. We live in a world where we need these anti-pollution masks. But the RGB, I can see this being just catching on as just a style. This is a French company. So of course the name's French, which is like um, Air Pure. That's how you say Air Pure, it's like Air Pure. You get it? You guys get it? You ready to get swole? Well, you better make sure your form's right. Now this is also gonna work for children, but Robotics Mind, I mean, this is a prototype, it's not working right now, but. This device is going to show you how to do your exercise. It's gonna show you how to, you know, like do push-ups. It's gonna make sure your form is correct. It articulates, got all kinds of servos in there, and uh, then it can be programmed with different exercises and maneuvers, and uh, make sure you're doing them right so you don't tear your ligaments and tear your muscles, everybody. Well, you wanna tear your muscles, but not your ligaments and your yeah, joints. Yeah, you in a good way. Yes. All right, this won an award here um, at the Computex opening ceremony. We saw this. So what on earth is this? So we saw this right? thing. Uh, it's an educational tool for kids that teaches like, oh, look, oh, programming help. basics. It can sing. It can move around. Programming basics. All I had was a damn monkey. I pulled a string on it and said hello. You changed the face right there. It had Darth Vader face at one point. All right. But, so so, you can, so it's a, just an educational interactive toy. You can get it to sing. You get it to sing. Oh, neat. No Remy Fa. And this one, uh, Computex Award, huh? Yeah, for a really cool educational toy. Cool. Yeah. Kiko Box. Are you playing Tabletop Galaga? It looks like this is uh, from Goss Toys, a digital board game. So you play the board game, and if you land on certain squares, you come over here to this, and now you're playing sort of a Galaga-style game where you're moving the piece around using the physical board game piece. There you go. And I'm killing it. Uh, different okay. kinds of games. All right, now we're playing. Now we land on another square, so we got a different type of game. We got Pollen. We were covering okay. all the arcade okay. classics from Atari and stuff. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, so check this out, guys. This is something that's actually really useful for us since we're making a video game. It's called Pi Stage, a plugin for Maya, and it allows us to instantly have stuff happening in the Unreal Engine up here. You see this? He's moving stuff around in Maya, and it's happening right there in the Unreal Engine. No need to export or anything like that. It's just live. So $1.99 per month, and then you'll be able to have the bridge between Maya and uh, Unreal Engine. Does it work on any other engines or platforms? No, no. no. it's all Android uh, and Maya. Nice. Uh, Unity maybe in the future? Uh, yeah. Unity, Unity maybe in the future, maybe 3D Studio Max. Maybe a lot of things in the future, but this, this is the start I was looking for. This is really awesome. This robot right here. This robot. It's, it's, it's faking everybody out. You can recognize chessboards right now. We're playing Scrabble with it. You got robots for Scrabble and sex. You can just replace all your friends. That's all you need. I won't even need you guys after a couple more years. Nope. Obsolete. Yep. Humans are obsolete. The new word is allocate. Good job. Oh, good Watch job. <laughs> it's encouraging, too. That's more than I can say for my friends. 
Hey, what are these? Do you, do you get it? What are you doing here? Monofilm. Look at this water. It will not penetrate. It's, it's anti-fingerprint, apparently. Anti-fingerprint monofilm. Huh. Okay, well, sometimes you see something and you're like, that's actually way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Well, it's made by uh, monofilm is the name of the company. Looks like it's got a little bit of a hydrophobic coating. Can on Apple devices. You know, walking by a lot of these OEMs from uh, China and stuff, this is mega. They make all kinds of stuff. But I'm noticing a lot of the gaming headsets are starting to take a trend uh, where they look a little bit more like actual headphones with, like, Nice leather or leatherette ear cups and the floating headband, just nice, nice construction. I'm seeing a lot of the OEMs do this. This is actually some decent quality stuff. But they still have the gamer aesthetic on the outside, like the LEDs and stuff. Um, and then you never know what's going to be in there as far as the drivers go and how they're going to sound. But I am noticing a bit more of a shift, and maybe that's a good thing. Uh, beneath here is a glass speaker. This is a microphone. There's karaoke mode on there. This speaker is making a mess. And uh, yeah, this is what Americans want to hear, right? All right, so the first glass speaker patent, they're getting a patent on this thing. The whole idea here is the glass should last longer. It uh, produces a pretty tight sound. It's hard to hear, I know, because there's so much noise in the background, but here it is. It's actually a glass speaker right there in the middle, guys. It's um, waterproof, as you can see. And I wouldn't have stopped unless this thing wasn't so, I was like, where's all that noise coming from? All that noise is coming from this tiny little thing. I've seen a lot of portable speakers, I've seen a lot of waterproof speakers, but a glass speaker, I haven't seen. They're also gonna be able to make subwoofers and all kinds of things out of this, so check them out. g -Jed. Check them out, guys. That's cooler than the average bear, huh? Look at that, that's, that's, this is Bruvis. They're doing a little uh, projection mapping right here. So what they've done is their projector uh, will like take a scan, I guess a 3D scan, map the area, and then it can project onto 3D surfaces. Like that, like this over here. As you can move across, you know, it projects onto the 3D surface and it... Uh, you know what this means? In the future, brides are just gonna have wedding dresses that like has a projector following them that's gonna show like the yeah. wall on it or something every time. Yeah, every time. Okay, two projectors. So two projectors, one at an angle to do the four sides. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm distracted. It's pretty cool stuff going on in this yeah. booth. Should have come here on the first day. All right, how about some more touch stuff? You guys feeling touchy? Right, this is four 55 inch panels under one big piece of glass and check this out. We got your four monitors right there, but watch this. You can start on one of them and draw all the way across to the other. It's so smooth because there's a piece of glass over top of it. So you could have huge walls comprised of multiple monitors. If you don't want to do that, they've got another one over here. Got different sizes, that sort of thing, yeah. 86 inches, I can't even get the whole thing in there. 86 inch 4K touch PC panel. But that one is really cool. Uh, name, name of the brand is Honor Star Industrial. 3D without the need for glasses. No glasses, naked 3D as they call yeah. it. I'll show you naked 3D. You guys ready to magnify? This is Dino Light. Check this out, right here. This, see this? We're looking at a tiny little wafer under there. 464 right there. Yep. Now you guys can adjust the magnification once you buy your own. Of course you're going to do that, right? Yep. Right there. And then of course you can adjust it up here as well. Similar to the, how you use like a regular microscope. Yep. Except now you've got it here on the screen with the uh, Dino Capture 2.0. There's that. Just a few different ones right here. This doesn't have as much magnification. Right yeah. They said they can go up to, some units can go up to 900. 900. Magnification which is insane. Yeah, this, this one this one uh, just really looks cool. It looks like, a, this reminds me of those uh, 1990s uh, After Dark screensavers. Remember those when you're in like yeah. Office Depot or whatever, you're like, After Dark screensaver. Like, well, we don't need that. We're just gonna buy this this, and hook it up to one of our screens. And that's way, way more yeah, convenient. Better. Yeah, better, <laughs> much better. Then you can, this. Like, I mean. Do, 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 do. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the darkness is, do, do, do. all right. And then this is. You got any bug puns? I don't have any. No, uh, no, no. Glad that this software isn't buggy. Okay, that'll that'll pass. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of bugging me. I was swung by Pros Kit here to check out some robots for kids, several different age ranges, four eight, uh, four four eight twelve. 
Yeah, but we're about to look at the saltwater power. Saltwater power car. They've got all sorts of different propulsion mechanisms. So they got hydraulic power. They got solar power. You can learn your little one about all kinds of things. Or if you want to learn yourself, I don't know. So here we go. A little saltwater power going on here. It's showing the voltage coming off of that thing. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. So they basically created a fuel cell. And then the, uh, there we go. I think it's absolutely running off that salt water fuel cell. There we go, here's the different components that go in there. And the salt water, of course. Uh, where's the flashlight? Let's show this one. This is the solar powered pig. And one thing that's really cool about this is it's a lot like Lego because you're going to be building everything. Look out, look out. The thing that's cool about this pig is, in theory, if this thing's out in the sun, it'll go forever. In theory. This pig will be, this pig will outlast any of us. It's, so cool. it's just laughing at the Energizer Bunny. Yeah. It's like, what do you got, a battery? I've got the sun. Yeah. There's so many different robots. I love the fact that you have to build these things first. So then you'll understand like a little bit about motors and servos and gears and that sort of thing. Now you can uh, tweak one another. Yes, with style. You got all kinds of stuff going on over here. Huh? Look at that thing. That thing is cool. <laughs> all right, now if you want to get really, oh, wow. if you want to get really huge, they got to make a cartoon out of this. Oh, who's gonna win? Oh. Who's working on the cartoon for these things? Oh, look at that. Whoa. It's close to a wall. He's like, nope. That's neat. All right, these things are uh, getting a little close here. Who's gonna win? Fight, hipster fight, shot. Fight, fight, fight. fight. Oh. I'm doing a hipster shot. Hold on. Okay. We're not at the Portland Airport. And the name of the company there is Steam. That's the pros kit, subcontractor Steam. And that's all the and stuff. Transforms. Not, not available in America, though. This is cool. I want this. <laughs> China and Taiwan yeah. right now, but th this would be really cool in America, I think. It transforms into different things. I want that. It needs a cartoon. Hey, uh, Justin, you want to see a place that's really well plant? Seriously though, let's take a look at some lights. But first off, we're going to piss off mosquitoes with 500 nanometer wavelengths. Come over and check this out. We've got some mosquito repellent lights, guys. So these lights, uh, the wavelength is 500 nanometers. It repels mosquitoes and people that get their faces too close. Yeah. It pisses them off. They've also got flashlights. Great for kids to dare each other to stare long at them. You wandering through the swamp at night, you need this. So you can like, oh, get back. Oh, oh. Yeah, you got like a basically a mosquito lightsaber. Yeah. So these guys also specialize in <laughs> these guys also mosquito. specialize in plant growth lamps. What what in the hell did I just step on? Like some snap crackly stuff under there. Yeah. What did you do? I don't know, something broke under my foot right here. Alright, we're just gonna <laughs> Nothing happened, everything's great. Alright, so they also are making these plant growth boxes. This is the STL050WWR uh, uses 50 watts of power. There's water on the bottom, and then you can grow like your leafy greens and stuff like that at home. To grow your plants, put these under there if you never want to go outside, but you still want some green inside to improve your airflow, your air, air quality, I mean. Look at those. Depending on if it's legal in your state or not, too. This is what I would be uh, cultivating. There you go, guys. Seven team. Check them out, grow some plants, keep the mosquitoes away. A loca coke. A, lo a loca coke, not coke. A loco. A loco. It's a cola backwards because that's how big they're going to be. But with an extra L. Now I know you guys know we cover a lot of like really nerdy stuff, but this is something that gets me just all excited. Yeah. All, <laughs> in, all, in, all in a tizzy. I, I, this is so practical because like, hey, let's say you're charging like nine things at the same time, and, and they're like all those all the batteries for our cameras yeah. and stuff. They're yeah. all those giant wall warts. They're all like huge. Mm -hmm. Well, here you just pop it right on the side there, and you don't have to worry about like you know, like stacking a bunch of them onto a regular power strip. Plus for travel, they're super handy because you can get them with all the different, uh, I'm gonna get, the, I'm taking this one because they're for sale. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm buying this one. You got all the different plugs there on the bottom for world travelers. Just got a standard plug there so you can swap it out depending on where you are in the world. Extremely easy. Harnessing the most powerful technology on the planet, magnets. I'm so happy about that. It's the little things, right? I'm not going to apologize for, for, for what if you're like, how cool this is. <gasps> you you've confused it. You broke it? 
Let's go. You broke. You, we have to, let's get out of here. You broke it. No. Turns out that's. Oh, so it's the string that pulled it. So that's the trick. Ah, yeah. so it's. Yeah, you didn't break it. So the, so tension. the string is what pulls the light, ah. and then the magnet just holds it. Ah. Oh, okay. Tension on the string. That makes sense. Mm. There's not a secret force that's. No, I wish. Just... That would have been cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> After we discover that secret force, maybe. Yeah. Okay. You, you're creating tension. People love dramatic tension. Oh wow, the suspense. <laughs>